I want to talk to Kyoka. We all went into the future. I saw it with my own eyes, but I still can't believe it. So many ancient people dreamed of time travel. I guess humanity's wish has come true. But that was a future I didn't want to see. You seem pretty knowledgeable about time travel. Thank you. Bad. You have a good eye. You came. Sorry to call on you all of a sudden. I don't mind. First, let me apologize to you. Naomi was turned into an other because I wasn't strong enough to stop it from happening. I'm really sorry for the pain I've caused you. I don't blame you for that. Anyway, what did my sister give you? This. It's her handwriting. Why do you have a handwritten letter from my sister? She never told me you two were close. I don't think we were. We didn't fight together for too long, and we didn't exchange many words with each other either. However, Naomi didn't let that stop her from reaching out to me. Just read the letter. These are... recipes. I have a habit of taking on too much work, so I'd often eat very poorly. I thought I hid how tired I was pretty well. But one day, Naomi called me over and handed me this. She said she put together some simple and nutritious recipes so I could take better care of myself when I was busy. She could have just messaged me, but she went through the trouble of writing it out. Can you believe that? That's just like her. I was grateful, but it also made me think. How could I neglect my own health to the point where even a rookie was worried? I'm sure Naomi was busy herself, having just joined the OSF. She was always like that. She'd always prioritize others over herself. So did the recipes help? Yes. They were easy, tasty, and nutritious. These recipes helped me take better care of myself. I didn't have much experience cooking. But she listed all the steps I needed very carefully. As I read her notes while I cooked, I began to notice how caring each word felt. My sister was the best. But why are you giving this to me if it's helped you? It's something she made for you. 
Handwritten letters are quite precious in this day and age. I thought it would be better if her sister had it. I memorized the recipes already. Besides, nobody's more heard about Naomi than you. The person who needs it the most should have it. All right, I'll hold on to it then. I feel better now that I've given it to you. What do you mean? Are you saying you couldn't wait to get rid of my sister's letter? No. I didn't mean it like that. It's just that I'm reminded of what happened to Naomi every time I look at it. I've been with the OSF for a long time. I thought I was used to losing friends. But I still can't accept what happened to her. Whenever I remember, it makes me painfully aware of my own powerlessness. I feel like someone's squeezing my heart. <sighs> if only I'd looked after the platoon better. There's a chance I could have prevented what happened to her. I'm sorry for unloading on you like this. I know that nobody is more hurt about her than you are. It's fine. It's not like anything you tell me will make it worse. I see. But as long as you continue fighting, you'll eventually encounter something you won't be able to carry on your own. As someone who's been in the OSF for many years, maybe I can help. Just reach out whenever you need me. I don't think anything like that will happen, but I will on the off chance it does. Well, if we're done here, I'm going back. All right. He seemed like he really blamed himself for Naomi. I hate to see him waste my sister's kind gesture. Kyoka, there's something I've been wondering ever since I joined the OSF. What is it? You seem very different during battles. I could be wrong, but it's almost like you're not the same person. Oh, I guess you never had a chance to watch me fight when you were a cadet. It seems like I completely change personalities when there's some sort of competition. A lot of people are like that. Are you talking about Kyoka's battle mode? It always surprises the rookies to see her suddenly go into beast mode. I'm not that scary, am I? Not scary. Just a little surprising. Wanna know something interesting? She was always like that in the past. I know because Kyoka and I graduated the same year. Really? Yeah. You were famous among our class for being hard to approach. You started to change when you joined the OSF, getting friendlier every year. And now look how kind you've become. You only see the old traces of you during battle. I guess people change. Oh, look at the time. I've got an important nap to attend to. Later. That's so strange. 
Do you have any idea why you changed? What was it that caused you to act differently? Why I changed? I'm not sure. Maybe because the old me only saw herself. Hmm. But after making so many friends in the OSF, I formed more connections with the people around me. Then I started wanting to cherish each of my relationships. That could be why I started looking after everyone. The old you is someone I'd gladly trust to have my back. But I'm happy I met this version. <laughs> I'm happy to hear you say that. I hope I'll be able to stay this way. What's wrong? What? Uh, oh, nothing. Hmm? That was really interesting hearing old stories about you. Really? Just ask me if there's anything else you want to know. Oh! Do you want me to tell you about one of my favorite fortune-telling sites? No, that's okay. I'm not really interested in that. <laughs> you don't need to be so shy. We should go get our fortunes read together sometime. Asane, are you getting enough rest? Don't worry about me. I know how to take care of myself. Okay, but you're looking unusually disheveled today. I just thought you were so tired with everything that happened that you didn't even notice. Disheveled? Like your hair clip. It's kind of dirty. Huh? You're right. I need a clean cloth and detergent. Should be in the kitchen. You don't need to be so frantic. At least you're not lacking energy. Okay, there. It's all clean now. Hmm. What? Nothing. I was just thinking about how carefully you're handling it. It was pretty unusual to see you lose your cool over a hair clip. This isn't just any hair clip. Naomi made it. We both have one. Yeah, she did wear something like that. She made them when I was younger to show that we were sisters. I can't believe I left it that dirty without noticing. Hmm. Are sentimental items really that important? Of course they are. Even though I'm sure it's just a hair clip to you. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. I just thought it was a little curious, that's all. I don't have any sentimental item with my brother Fubuki. Nothing? You must at least have a picture. No, not even a digital image saved. It just takes up room and is a pain to maintain. Even a digital copy ends up being a waste of storage space. I'm just not the sentimental type, that's all. Is that what a relationship between a sister and brother is like? It feels really distant. Everyone's different. Your relationship seems strange to me. Really? Yeah. Okay, I think I'm going to take a break. You should learn from me and make it a point to rest well. Learn from you? I'll have to think that one over. What's there to think about? Come and ask me any time, I'd be happy to teach you. I guess there's a part of me that assumed all siblings were close like me and Naomi. There does seem to be something off about Arashi and Major General Fubuki's relationship.
I'm so tired. I want to see my sister. That's Captain Seto's pen. What's it doing here? Naomi, Captain Seto. Everyone is leaving me. This feeling. I felt it before, a long time ago. It feels suffocating. Am I forgetting something important? Kasane, can you wake up? Uh, yes. It seems Suo has declared a state of emergency. Let's go check it out. Karin may be on the move. I'm worried about Haruka, and we still haven't found Luka. We might figure some things out if we go to Suo. Shiden, are you fine with this? You don't need to worry about me. I suppose so. You were trying to join Karin's side before. <sighs> we pretended not to notice. So, what are you going to do? I... Uh, I have no idea. I trusted Major General Karin, but he attacked me at Kunad. Maybe he thought you betrayed him because you were with us. I need to give Karin a piece of my mind as well. I'm coming with you to Suo. All right. Let's head to Suo then, everyone.